Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we finished off the A side for Mount Volbono, and it was incredibly hard because Mount Volbono happens to have a capless sub area, and it broke my face. Uh, this time we're going to be opening that moon rock and doing all the B side moons in Mount Volbono. Uh, I can't really remember what they all are, so we'll, be see, we'll see how we go. Um, First, you've got to go over there, though. So, to do that, you pretty much need to go find a lava bubble. Such as this one. Uh, if I can grab it, that'd be great. There we go. And then you can just swim over there very easily. Uh, there's a big hole in the wall over here now. It wasn't here before the eruption, so it was a bit harder. But you, you couldn't open the moon rock before the eruption anyway, so not a problem. Uh, anyway, here's the moon rock. Just gotta open it up as usual. And not remember what is involved in doing this stuff. Okay, we have three sub areas to go to and some other stuff. Alright. Let's begin. Uh, this area of the kingdom has no music for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. It's an interesting quirk. Okay, one of the sub areas is just here. I can't remember what's in, what's in the sub areas, so this will be a mystery to all of us. Um, oh, okay. This is the other um, love bubble based obstacle course area that I was talking about. Um, I think it's impossible without capturing a lava bubble. It might not be. Uh, we are going to capture a lava bubble, so we'll see how we go. <laughs> uh, basically, yeah, it's just just like the one we saw in the previous previous video. I think it might have been the video before. Uh, it's just the whole ground is made of this pink lava stuff, so you've got to carefully platform your way around. It's not exactly hard. Uh, this is a little bit tricky. You have to uncapture it at the right time. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, in order to actually get that moon. Because the cannon just launches it to the other side and you won't get it. Oh, that's not good. Uh, yeah, you can't really throw Cappy if you happen to touch lava first because the damage animation lasts longer than. Like, it, it doesn't let you throw Cappy until the damage is over, and you haven't got enough time to throw her before hitting the lava again. Uh, but if you throw her before hitting the lava, you can actually throw her multiple times. You just have to do it ahead of time. Uh, it's hard, though. <laughs> Especially if you're me and you're not good at things like playing this video game. Uh, I think the easiest way to get through here is probably to jump over here and use the cannon. You can also use the platform as Mario to get her over to this bit. Um, but just using the cannon is much easier, so I'm not sure why they did it that way. Uh, here, there's another cannon you have to fire. Here, you have to be careful, though, because you can see that the cannon's going to land on that grating there. So you have to uncapture before... Oh, no, you don't. Never mind. Uh, I was thinking you would fall through and then get hurt, but you won't, because you're a lava bubble. It's actually really very easy to do that. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's that sub area done. It wasn't too tricky. I died once because I did a silly thing instead of doing it in a sensible way, but that's just me. Um, so that's good. Uh, next up we have a moon just sort of hanging out over this direction. I should have given me another cap throw, but it cap bounce, but it didn't. That's weird. Capturing these is so frustrating. Stay on the corn. Well, that wasn't a good idea. Okay, so what I want to do basically is just head over to the area where we fought Spirit like a really long time ago when we did the Story Moon. Uh, yo, that big platform. I just want to get over there. We already did the timer challenge, 
so don't have to worry about that. But just here, you can see there's a sparkly spot because there's a moon here now. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. So that's three. Uh, next up, we're going to go over to Runza Plaza. Doing a lot of ground pounds accidentally. A bit annoying. Okay, so one thing we can do here in Ronza Plaza is we can head to the end of the plaza and find Princess Peach and Tiara, who are over here. I'm going to talk to them. Hello, friends. Cute. I love Tiara so much. Peach actually accidentally bit into this power moon. Like I said, they're bananas. <laughs> A constant storm. Uh, that's the Ruined Kingdom uh, that she's talking about. So we, we will be going there next. Uh, not for this video, though. I don't think I don't think there's anything to look at with this thing ever. Yeah. Yeah, this, there isn't one in this kingdom. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is the other sub-area that's just over here. Uh, there's actually three sub-areas, so it's not really the other one. It's the second one. Um, but yeah, you come over here. Again, we can go through that 2D area if we want, but it's hilariously easy to skip, so we won't. As you can see, there's now a sub-area portal over here. Near these purples. With little birds checking it out. They're not wearing hats, which is interesting. I don't know why they're not wearing hats. Anyway. Uh... Okay, so this sub-area, it's... Basically a platforming challenge of sorts. This platform starts moving when we stand on it and it moves around through the lava and we have to avoid getting our little toesies scorched. It's not very hard. Uh, the version of this in superstar mode is very, very, very hard because this platform's not in it. Uh, basically you have to make your way all the way to these hat platforms straight away and it's, it's very, very difficult. Um, this version is not hard. Plenty of time to just waddle our way away from obstacles, as you can see. We're not going to bother with those coins there. They're in the um, yellows anyway, so we can just ride our way up here. And then we'll have to swap to the other side. So yeah, the platform is slow enough that we don't have much to worry about here. Uh, we do need to get these hat platforms though, because there's a moon up here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, that's not good. Uh, I was trying to do a cap bounce to go across, but I accidentally dived instead, and so that didn't work. Okay. So yeah, we just stand on this platform. It's kind of slow. Um, you can't really speed it up. These hats let you get to those blocks, and there's some coins you can get, but you can't really go past that spot without the platform. Uh, I think there's some more hats in the in the Superstar Mode version, because I can't see any other way of doing that part. Unless you meant to damage boost all the way up there, which would be ridiculous. Um, maybe you are. I don't know. Anyway, um, this part we already saw and got a moon out of, so it's pretty easy. You just got to ride your way up here. And then once you pass that one, you want to swap over to the other side to avoid getting burnt by the other side. Uh, and then here, you actually do have to use the hats. Uh, I think. Yeah, you do. It's not hard. We have Cappy, so we basically have nothing to worry about platforming-wise. As you can see. Easy. Uh, then here we need to use some more hats. Yeah! Or we can just damage boost past most of them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, we got both the moons in here, so this area is done. Without too much trouble. Uh, as you can see, everything else is on this side, so we will warp over probably to here and have a look around at the path to the meat plateau. I think up here. Uh, I remember. Yeah, here's this one. Uh, that crack wasn't there before. 
ba da ba Yeah! Now it has a moon in it. So, yeah. Easy peasy. Uh, now if we make our way over here... Uh, we actually want to get a lava bubble over here because there's a moon up there to get. Uh, the lava bubbles from this platform here are probably the closest. There we go. And then it's pretty easy. You just gotta swing your way over there. Do a little jump. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Good, good, good. Um, the reason there's a two just there is because there's actually a, a sub area on the meat plateau. Instead of there being nothing there because the meat's gone, there will now be one of those uh, moon pipes there. Ow! <laughs> okay, uh, anyway, we're just gonna head up this way. Uh, shouldn't be too tricky. Uh, there is a piranha plant there to watch out for. I don't really know why, it doesn't really seem to fit this spot, but, you know, whatever. Pretty easy to avoid, just like that. And then you can climb up these forks to reach the sub-area. And the checkpoint. So yeah, this sub-area is now here. We can head on in. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Um, okay, so basically, this one, you pretty much need a fire bro to do it. Uh, because you have to light these lanterns that are surrounding the area. Uh, it might be possible to just lure the fire bros into hitting the right spot. Like that. But I think at least one of the fountains you need to capture a fire bro instead. Uh, also these toothy guys are here, which is kind of weird. They don't really seem to fit the aesthetic of this area. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's a fire behind this guy. Or a lantern or whatever. Can I get him to shoot here? Uh, I think I need to capture him. Or do that. You know, that works too. Can't wear any hats, so they're pretty easy to capture. There we go. Easy peasy. So yeah, you're supposed to basically bring one of these all the way up in order to light all the lanterns. So it's pretty much going to be unchanged because, you know, fire bros can't crouch. Oh, I might do that, in which case we'll die and have to try again. Uh, that's okay. The lanterns don't stay lit? Okay, that's interesting. Uh, as I've been saying, usually when you partially do a moon, it stays partially done when you die. But, uh, in this one, that's not the case, which is interesting. Lanterns don't stay lit. So that's something to remember. Uh, anyway. I believe this area is designed to be tricky because of the, the weird movement that the fire bros have with the little hopping. I position stuff carefully so that it makes that kind of a hassle. Uh, which is sort of clever. But yeah, basically you want to use these chompy platforms to gain enough height to make your way over to where everything is. Uh, here you obviously have to use that chompy platform because it's the only thing there. You can just jump your way over to here. As you can see, it's not hard. I just messed it up because I'm bad. Uh, and then here, you basically have to snipe that one. So you have to actually bring a fire bro up here or you can't do it. Because there isn't a fire bro up here already. Come on. There we go. And that's both moons. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, that's ten moons, I think. Ten. Yep, we're making good progress. So we've done all three sub-areas. Uh, there's just a couple more moons to get now. So if we walk to the top of the peak climb, we can get one of them. Uh, basically what you want to do here is, if you look closely at the ledge here around the top part, you can see the sparkles over there now. Uh, they weren't there before, because that's one of the moon rock moons that we've now unlocked. So we just make our way over there. Uh, you can use the lava bubble instead, but, you know, it's fun to do it this way. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! 
There we go. Uh, two more. So we have to do the race again, and there's also a moon up there. So, let's do the moon up there, and then jump down and do the race. I believe if we just go... Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Easy peasy. Boop. Uh, Alright, so... If you look now, we have 67 of 68 moons here. We did miss some purple coins. I'll probably come back for that off camera. Uh, but the only moon we're missing right now is the race that we're about to do, which is this one. Now, once we've done that, this kingdom is complete. We will have every moon. Which is exciting, because last kingdom we couldn't get every moon. So yeah, the basic idea is do the exact same thing, but, but please do it a bit faster this time. Uh, just like every other one of these. <laughs> uh, It's not hard, like, at all. Um, it says we're coming second now, but we're gonna go back to first pretty soon, trust me. See? Easy. Easy peasy. And that's it. Uh, we have every moon in the Lunching Kingdom. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Warp our way back over to the Odyssey and cash those in. So, next time, as you can see, we're heading to Crumbledon, the Ruined Kingdom. Uh, we'll be doing that all in one video, like the Cloud Kingdom, because these two kingdoms are very small. Uh, Cloud had, I think, nine moons total? This one has ten, if I recall correctly. So, it, does, it doesn't really warrant doing it in two videos, but... Um, well, yeah, we're going to do it in two videos. We're going to do it in one, in one video, is what I'm saying. Uh, it's not too hard. Uh, there's some, there are some 2D areas involved in the, in the, um, the, you know, the thing, in the thing. Oh, my rubber band. There we go. Okay, so anyway, um. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, next video we'll be doing this kingdom all in one go. It's not a very big kingdom, so it's not it's not hard. Um, uh, yeah, so you can see there's five moons here. If we open up the moon rock, I believe that increases to ten. And we'll be getting all ten. It's not hard. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. And I hope you have a good day. Also, there's bats everywhere. Bats. <laughs>